Well, today, I'm incredibly pleased to introduce iMac, our consumer product. And iMac comes from the marriage of the excitement of the internet with the simplicity of Macintosh. Even though this is a full-blooded Macintosh, we are targeting this for the number one use that consumers tell us they want a computer for, which is to get on the internet simply and fast. And that's what this product is targeted for. I also mean some other things to us. We are a personal computer company, and all this product is born to network. It also is a beautiful standalone product. We're targeting it also for education. They want to buy these. And it's perfect for most of the things they do in instruction. It's perfect for finding tremendous source of information over the internet. And we hope, as you see the product, it will inspire us all to make even better products in the future. So we think iMac's going to be a really big deal. Now, what should it be? Well, we went out and we looked at all of the consumer products out there. This is a picture of one of the better ones. And we noticed some things about them pretty much universally. <clears throat> the first is they're really slow. They're very slow. They're all using last year's processor. Very, very slow. Second is they've all got pretty crummy displays on them. They're generally 13 inch, a few 14 inch, and the quality of them is very poor. Uh, Apple designs all its own displays, so we're used to something much better, but these are pretty bad. Likely no networking on them. Some have it, most don't. Old generation I.O. devices. And what that means is they're lower performance and they're harder to use and most of them aren't, so plug and play. And these things are ugly. <laughs> so. Let me tell you about iMac. We decided to make this thing fast. So we decided to put in a G3 processor running at 233 megahertz. We debated this quite a bit, because there were cheaper, slower things we could have used. And we said, no, this has got to be the computer that we want on our desk, too. A G3 running at 233, and we didn't forget the cache. It's got a half a megabyte L2 backside cache on it. This thing screams, as you'll see in a minute. On displays, we said, what is the largest display that you'd ever want in, one of these cons in a consumer computer? And the answer to us was a 15-inch display running at 1024 by 768. Let's go ahead and build in the best in every product. And let's have our display engineers engineer it, and it's gorgeous. It is an Apple-quality display that we are very proud of. Let's go ahead and put a lot of memory in this thing. 32 megabytes standard. It's expandable to 128. 4 gigabyte disk drive, 24x CD-ROM. And let's build in a lot of communications. This thing's got 100 megabit Ethernet as standard. Now, why? Because a lot of our education customers want to put these high-speed networks in, and because we're seeing it in homes. Approximately 10% of the homes in Silicon Valley now have class 5 wiring in them. We're starting to see lots of home networks emerging. A fast modem and also 4 megabit infrared built in. You want to beam your digital photographs in from your digital camera built into every product. We are going to the new generation of I.O. 12 megabit universal serial bus, two ports. We're leaving the old Apple I.O. behind. Stereo surround sound built into every product and a great, great keyboard and mouse. Now. <coughs> This is what they look like today. And I would uh, like to take the privilege of showing you what they're going to look like from today on. This is iMac. Back there and do that again. Go back and come back. Thank you. Thank you. 
So if I can get this screen switched over, we've got a wireless camera here, and I'd like to show you what this thing looks like. Come on in. You've got to see this thing in person, but I'll do the best I can with video. This is iMac. The whole thing is translucent. You can see into it. It's so cool. We've got <laughs> stereo speakers on the front. We've got infrared right up here. We've got the CD-ROM drive right in the middle. We've got dual stereo headphone jacks. We've got the coolest mouse on the planet right here. <clears throat> Come on around. All of the connectors are inside one beautiful little door here, the Ethernet, the USB stuff. Around the back, we've got a really great handle here. The back of this thing looks better than the front of the other guys, by the way. <laughs> and then around the side. So let's take one more, one more swing around it so you can see. This is what it looks like. And again, you've got to see one of these things in person. Great. <clears throat> Yeah, I've got some slides of what this looks like, too. I mean, this is incredible compared to anything else out there. It looks like it's from another planet, and a good planet, <laughs> a planet with better designers. Look at this keyboard. It's so nice. Two universal serial bus connectors on either side, so you can plug the mouse into whichever one you want, whether you're right or left-handed, and you have the other one for peripherals. Look at this mouse. It's the most, it's the, it's the most wonderful mouse you've ever used.